Hi everybody, welcome to another Carrera tutorial. I'm Kriteman, and uh, what we're going to do this time through is we're going to look at motion paths. And uh, we're going to create one using Edgar. I'm going to pick on him again for this one. And uh, we have cartoon poses down here in your uh, in your poser directory. And uh, there are a few animated ones. We're going to go ahead and uh, find one for Edgar. Actually, you can apply any of them to him, but this will work. Um, walk with sign, slow. Let's go ahead and drop that on him there. Turn off limits. And now you'll notice that there is a, uh, a walk path already created. Let's go ahead and go in our sequencer and check out. You notice that there's our walk path. Let's go ahead and there's our the thighs part of it and uh, the upper body part of it. Um, let's go ahead and select this. Select all these here. And we're going to do what we did in the last tutorial. We're going to repeat. And we're going to do this uh, 15 times. No, 10 times. And over here there's a delay before repeat. Um, you can go ahead and put a couple seconds in there if you want to, but it really makes it look uh, kind of dorky. But uh, let's go ahead and push OK. And there's our repeating animation. Let's go ahead and select this here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go ahead and push repeat. We're going to do 10. And we're good to go. Now, here comes the motion path part of it. Uh, you'll notice, well, let's go ahead and take a look at this. This will repeat over and over and over again. So, all right, now, uh, let's go ahead and push four. Get up here, and let's go ahead and select Edgar. And the method of animation that we're going to use is not going to be keyframe for the full body. It's going to be motion path. And you realize that it's going to change, OK. And you notice right up here on the left-hand side, another set of tools comes up. That's your, uh, that's your motion path tools. Let's see. He's facing this way. So let's go ahead and start the first part of the path. The next part of the path. The next part of the path. The next part of the path. And then oops, back to the beginning. And that's going to be good enough. Now... Let's go ahead and smooth that out a little bit. Um, or no, this one right here. Smooth that out. There we go. Nice circular kind of path. And let's see what we got. Nothing. It's because... Uh, we haven't pushed him all the way around the path. And this is what's really cool, too. You'll notice that um, there are a few options up here on the right. Let's go ahead and align him to the path. Let's go with that end frame. And now let's move him around the path. Select Edgar. There we go. Select Edgar. Let's move them around the path. You have to make sure it's at the end frame to do this. Sorry, I should have said that at first. Come on, babe. It takes them a little while. Sometimes they get hung up around the corners, but... And now let's go back to our last frame. Let's you notice as you keyframe through it, he goes around the path. Now, something you're gonna, you might want to take into consideration. Um, sometimes you have to move the path. That's what this little guy's for. You move this, and if your model falls below your um, plane, whatever, uh, you have a way that you can move it up and down. Let's go ahead and take a look at Edgar and see. Uh, see what we got here. No 
Okay. <laughs> That's right. I didn't do this. Uh, let's go ahead and go draft rod. And let's see what we got here. Same thing. Uh, yeah, I forgot about that. There we go. Now, now let's check it out. He kind of bounces a little bit. Some of his feet kind of go through the plane, but whatever. That's basically the that's basically how you make uh, Edgar walk around a motion path. Anyway, uh, that's it for this time. I'm Crite Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.